beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So I'm bringing in the wisdom of the Oracle for this reading today and the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck to see what the current energies are. And I will get messages from your other self to see what wants to be expressed in this energy today. And at the end, I'm going to see what God, the universe, the angels, what the message of strength is, what you need to hear right now. That's going to help you keep moving forwards, remaining in your truth, trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So the energies have been extremely intense. Um, around this Lionsgate 88 portal so I'm interested to see what's going to come through and I it's definitely really affected me which is unexpected um, I've been purging and I've had lots of physical symptoms um, so I'd be very interested to hear what's been going on for you around this time and with the Lionsgate 88 portal, we do have this hype that, you know, that, that it's going to be amazing energies and, um, you know, it's a good time for manifestations and, and things are coming in very quickly. But that, as I mentioned in the Lionsgate 88 portal that I did, um, as much as the delightful things that you want to experience coming quickly, the darkness, the things that you do need to deal with, it, things reoccur and... Um, coming very quickly as well, the, the things that maybe you've been putting off. Um, and you are ascending as well, so you do get the physical symptoms. So let me know what's been going on here around this time, and I wasn't expecting it. And I, I was very hard on myself as well, which um, you may have found where you're really judging yourself, thinking, oh my goodness, I shouldn't be feeling this way. I should, you know, I've, I've worked through so much and. Um, because you now have the awareness, you, you do feel quite low because it's just like, I shouldn't be, this shouldn't be happening. I've got the tools. The key to this is putting love into the situation and the awareness. But it, when you're meant to feel and you're working through those lower energies, you know, you just have to uh, surrender, which we did have again with the Lionsgate AA portal. <laughs> so... Let's see what's coming through for the energies now and how they're supporting you, beautiful soul that's watching. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you would like support on your awakening journey, on your twin flame journey, and you're ready for change, you're ready to take responsibility of yourself. I am offering one-to-one -one sessions and personal readings. But everything that you do need to know is in the description box down below. So what's coming through? Nice clear message. Never ending story. That's maybe how you've been feeling recently. And we've got 37, which adds up to 10 which is completion end of a cycle three is strong faith and seven is setting pure intentions creating and manifesting from this place of unconditional love who you truly are um and yeah you can see this beautiful angel is holding the head in their hands just about had enough <laughs> And through this time recently, it may have been, you know, a struggle for you to have this faith, to set pure intentions because you've, you've ex been experiencing those lower energies um, and reoccurring lessons are coming back around. It's just like, oh my goodness, not this again. And it may be through different situations. It may come towards you in a different way, but it's still the same lesson. Um, when it's just like, oh, just about had enough <laughs> um, but know that just take this as an opportunity don't be mad at yourself don't judge yourself just let it be and delve very deep and respond to all situations that come your way that are very boring that you've had enough out with, with love <laughs> um, so let's see what else wants to come through before I go more into that TikTok yeah really frustrated and impatient about time when is this going to happen when's this you know going to stop 
when am I stop going to stop feeling this way? And the fear of, you know, time is passing, wanting to know when, how, where. And this could be about your twin flame or other things that are going on in your life where you're just wanting this change. Have strong faith. And we've got 30 here. And last time I used this deck, that did come through this card, Divine Timing. Strong faith is the answer. And zero is eternal love. Everything is happening in divine timing, however annoying it is to your ego. Keep seeing through the pain, keep seeing through the illusions and putting love into all situations and know that everything that's happening in your life right now is exactly what you are meant to be experiencing and you're, you're exactly where you're meant to be. And it's I know that when we're in our heads and we're experiencing that lower energy, um, as you can see here, this never ending story. We don't want to hear what I've just shared, but that is the truth. Trust in divine timing, that things are changing, however it seems in the 3D and the physical. And let's see what else. To the sea, and it's number seven, which is setting pure intentions again, coming from this place of unconditional love and this solid foundation. Everything has been crumbling on your journey, falling away. And in the 3D and the physical, it appeared that, you know, that you did have this solid foundation. But what you're learning, the more that you go on this journey, you haven't had that solid foundation. And that is why it's crumbling. The path that you're on, the journey that you're on, is leading you to unconditional love. And you are a being of unconditional love. So you may have been setting intentions, but where were your intentions coming from? Was it coming from condition, programming, old beliefs? That's all been wiped out and you're learning to set pure intentions. So you have had this purification, getting rid of the old and mending you are mending and it's number 52 which adds up to seven so you could be seeing seven 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 on vehicle plates at this time where you ever you're going whatever you're doing that's really standing out and that's just reminding you of your journey the path that you are on which is unconditional love and about where are your intentions coming from so you are going through this deep cleanse and you're mending what has been broken within you, your, your, your wounds are open. And throughout your journey, there are times where things are heightened. We get, we work through so much and then things sort of ease off and we feel the benefits of what we worked through before. Um, so it feels so much more peaceful and we feel more balanced and stable and then it peaks again. We have to feel some more and going back to divine timing you're only given what you can manage what you worked through previously that felt at the time difficult and a bit of a struggle and very painful if you was exp if the same thing happened again because you allowed yourself to face it you'd be able to manage it so much easier because you gained strength from the time before so now you're experiencing a whole new level you're having to go deeper and you're having to feel some more because you're ready and know that this is opportunity for you to grow, to gain strength and most importantly you're, you're releasing what no longer serves you by different things that are happening and the way you're feeling. It's about not being afraid to feel certain things. So for some of you, you could be feeling as if you're out to sea you've just been left to it. I'm very, very alone. Feeling disconnected from God, from higher power, from the universe. In that time of you feeling alone, abandoned, rejected, feeling this darkness, this whole situation experience is pushing you to let go of control and to go with the flow. Out at sea, just to go with whatever waves come the calm waves, the high waves, to feel this connection with God. 
with higher power. Whatever word resonates makes you feel more comfortable. In those times, that's when we do feel closer to God and that's when we're pushed to surrender. But you're learning to go with the flow and to let go of this frustration, impatience about timing. Um, because when we're worried about timing, it is coming from mind, ego. And when we're feeling so stressed and run down and it's a never-ending story, we're in our head. So you're definitely, I feel, being in your head and experiencing those lower energies recently. But don't panic. Don't be afraid. This is for your highest good. And whatever we experience, that's when we have to remember that it is for the highest good of ourselves and for everybody that is involved on your journey around us. Um, so it doesn't, I know that it doesn't feel like it at the time. So let's see what comes through at the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. What else is coming through for the energies of Twin Flames? What is it the beautiful song needs to know at this time? Forgiveness, being pushed to forgive. Forgive yourself forgiving others and maybe your twin flame but what's important here is forgiving yourself and we have the new moon here which the last new moon was in Leo and the next new moon is going to be Virgo but in between that we have the full moon in Aquarius as well and we've got eclipse season coming very soon and there we go purification which I mentioned that beautiful sunflower you're going through this real deep cleanse at the moment and again you may have felt drawn to water at this time that's how you you know feel that relief that you feel close to god to the universe as well in this time of feeling alone and practicing forgiveness of yourself so what else is coming through the energies of twin flames and how these energies so they're wanting to come out on their own and it's, there's two that's come through. Solitude, yeah, being on your own. Not to be afraid of solitude and maybe you've had this urge to actually want to be in solitude because you don't want to be socialising, you don't want people, anyone around you because of how you've been feeling the lower energies and because you've been putting pressure on yourself about time and you don't want people to ask you about anything about your journey or about your life and you just... Don't feel connected with anybody at the moment. You just want to hide away. You're choosing to be in this solitude. And for some of you, it may be where you're just feeling, you know, so alone, where you're feeling that disconnection, as I mentioned, to, from God, where it's just like, are you, is, is there anyone there that's going to support me, that understands me? Please help me. But remember... That's when you're finding yourself. That is when your relationship with God is getting stronger. And community. And we've got the two beautiful... Well, we've got lots of um, butterflies, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Five, I can see. So that's movement and change as well. And we've got the beautiful uh, rainbow, which is about miracles, good fortune. And it may, as I said feel as if it, you're so far from miracles and good fortune because everything's just so heavy at this time know that there are people out there to support and help you um, and these people will come to you in divine timing your soul family your soul tribe but i feel that majority of you are choosing to be in this solitude because you do need to forgive and there may have been things that have happened that's brought it up within you where, you let, where you, you're feeling, actually, um, I'm a bit annoyed about this. I'm annoyed with that person. And that's for a reason, because there's more for you to do. And maybe towards your twin flame, where you're just fed, fed up and frustrated because they haven't been in touch and it's just the time is going. It's just like, when is this going to happen? It will happen in divine timing and there's more for you to forgive from things that have happened with your twin flame and things that have happened in your past and the way you've treated yourself when you're forgiving yourself you're forgiving your twin flame that's what you have to remember because you're one energy or one soul and i know we don't want to hear that 
because the mind ego wants to think that this set this person is separate from you um but that isn't the truth and at the bottom of the deck where those cards flipped out is abundance yeah where you are right now you are abundant and there's so much abundance that wants to come in when you allow yourself to receive and one of the blocks you know that you have is um where there's more forgiving that's that you know there's more of that lower energy where you're feeling grudges um or maybe feeling guilty feeling that you you know that you, you don't deserve to receive it is very deep and we do hold on to those lower energies and it is very shocking and it brings a lot of surprises to us when they appear and we think that we've dealt with them there is abundance of everything and you will open yourself up so much more to this abundance when you practice forgiveness of self, forgiveness of others, things that have happened in your past that's created these blocks for you to have this programming, conditioning, you know, the beliefs of lack, that there isn't enough, that you're not enough, all of those things. But there is so much that wants to come to you, but it's about you opening up and allowing yourself to receive this love from higher power. All of the resources, everything that you need is here right now, but you have to unblock yourself to receive it. And that is dealing with those lower energies, setting yourself free. So let's see what your twin flame would love to express in this time and know that whatever you're working through at this time, your twin is facing as well. Um, so it's my deck messages from your other self. And if any of you guys are interested in purchasing any of my decks that I've created, the website that you can purchase them from is in the description box down below. So what is it? This is your higher self. This is your true self. That's what you have to remember as well. What's coming through? What is it you need to know from your twin at this time? And what is it they want to express? in this moment i'm looking forward to snuggling up to you every night and sleeping peacefully so they may be very restless at this time their sleep pattern is very disturbed they can't sleep very well because they're facing so much they're putting themselves under pressure about timing they're having to forgive things things are coming up um where it's where it is pushing them to let go and to forgive, to forgive themselves, to make peace with themselves, choosing to be in solitude, going through this purification, opening up, going through this transformation, opening up to God, the universe, soul to their soul tribe, their soul family. Um, and everything about you is so beautiful and perfect. <laughs> yes, everything about you is so beautiful and perfect and that's what you need to know, beautiful soul. I've cried so much since we've been apart. So, you know, it seems on the surface in the 3D and the physical that your twin flame is fine and they've forgotten you. And I know that the majority of you that are watching are divine feminines. So, you you know, you're seeing your divine masculine just getting on with things and... You may see things on social media or hear things where it's just like that everything's so delightful for them it's just you going through this never-ending story and this pain that isn't the truth they're going through so much whatever you're going through and whatever you're facing they're going through as well and it may not be exactly the same time it may be through different situations but you're still facing that lower energy that you've both been holding on to um because you're one energy or one soul they've cried so much and you cry so much you hold your head in your hands when you are feeling this disconnection when you feel as if you're out at sea when you're not going with the flow you you cry you feel this pain and that's the radar that your inner compass 
allowing you to know that actually you're off tra track. You're not trusting. You haven't. You know. You haven't got this faith. You're not feeling God's love. You're not allowing God's love in because you're not trusting yourself, because you're against yourself, because you're judging yourself. That's when we experience this pain. And what's you know important, you need to know, it isn't just you going through this. I've cried so much since we've been apart. There's a lot that I've been going through as well. It's not just you, beautiful soul that's watching. Um, your other self is dealing with the same thing and they love you so very much. They think that you're so beautiful when you are perfect. And when you've got fresh eyes, when you're seeing yourself through the eyes of God, through the eyes of love, you see the beauty of who you are and that you're perfect just the way you are. Because you've made peace with the imperfections. You've made peace. Everything's just wonderful and beautiful because you're not comparing yourself you're not putting pressure on yourself that you've got to be a certain way um and yeah you're tired exhausted and your twin flame is and they just want this to be resolved they want this to be over and to sleep with you peacefully laying beside each other just knowing that you're there that you're both there and that you're experiencing this inner peace and that there isn't nothing to worry about. Just cherishing each other and having this strong connection with higher power, with God. I belong with you, you belong with me, you're my sweetheart. Yeah, I know who you are. I know that I belong with you and that's why I've cried so much because I have that knowing. I can't get rid of this love. And I know it's me hurting myself, me pushing you away, not physically being with you, not showing up for you. Um, and that's when I, it is so painful and that's when I do cry is when I push, when I reject myself, when I do not trust myself, but when I put pressure on myself, all of those things, it's so uncomfortable. And I miss you so much. And again, the deeper message is you miss yourself and you experience pain, unbearable pain when you're not with yourself. And that's why it gets so intense when your twin flame comes into your life because it's something that's got to be corrected. And this is, you, you've been awakened to God's love, <laughs> to know that you're not alone and that the most important relationship that you'll ever have is with yourself and with God. Um, so let's see what comes through with the messages through music, intuitive oracle for twin flames. <clears throat> so that one wants to come already. Time is an illusion, so spot on. And there's another one that come with it. Let go of when, the how and the if. Trust and know that it will happen and it will be in divine timing for the highest good of all involved can't make it up everything that I've been going th on through this reading time is an illusion when we're in time mode it's when we're in our head so let go and know that everything is perfect just the way it is right now and trust that deep inner knowing and know that you haven't got it wrong and everything is all falling into place and this will show up in the 3D, in the physical, when you actually let go of this pressure on time and when you've forgiven yourself, when you've allowed this purification, when you're comfortable just being on your own, going with the flow, knowing that everything you experience in this lifetime is always for your highest good and you, you will experience magical wonderful things in your life when you're being the unconditional love that you are the your true authentic self you experience abundance of love abundance everything <laughs> abundance of everything always listen to and follow your heart in matters of the heart trust your intuition and follow your own path be your own muse and light your own way the angels will guide you this is a message from your twin flame. They are stepping away from the crowd and starting to be true to their... 
own path and journey. The path is lit to you. Yes. So don't be a follower, be a leader. One of your downfalls in the past may be that you, was, you, you followed what other people said and you didn't actually trust yourself. And we do have a lot of information about Twin Flames and we do tend to compare at times, thinking, oh my goodness, well, I've got it wrong then because I'm experiencing this and blah, 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 all of those things. Trust yourself. You are your own guru. You know what's meant and what is best for you. Don't get waylaid by what other people are saying to you. We do have special people in our life that we admire and we've learned from that's helped you to get to where you are right now. But everybody's journey is unique. So don't try and make your journey like somebody else's. Trust what you're experiencing is unique to you and it doesn't have to be the same as anybody else. What I could be sharing about my journey could be, could be completely different to what you've experienced. Um, so that's why there is no course. There is no real information that anybody can say to you and say, oh, if you do this, this is how you know, you're going to achieve and this is how you're going to come into union. Because there is a lot of courses, there's lots of things that are on the internet at the moment. The only person that has the answer is yourself but it's having the confidence to be able to trust yourself, to trust what's meant for you, not to go by what somebody else is saying or what somebody else's journey is. Yes, there's similarities, and it is very supportive to hear about other people's journeys, but it's not gonna be the same. So it's about really rising up and making that commitment to yourself to trust you at all times. And through you doing that, your twin flame, it does exactly the same thing. And that is what's happening right now. Your twin is following their own path, being true to themselves, trusting themselves. So you are being so courageous, so brave, you and your twin flame, to be able to do this. Because when you're going against the system, when you're trusting yourself, a lot of things do show up, come in and try to distract us, to take us back to old ways of not feeling good enough and not trusting ourselves. So thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful, powerful Twin Flame reading. It was very deep. I do hope that you've kept up. You might have to listen to it again to actually take in everything I say because a lot has come through. I do hope that it's been supportive though and you're feeling more peaceful if you've been feeling very stressed and um, as if you've been going through the dark night of the soul, just know that it's for a reason and you are going to get through it. It is going to pass. It's just more growth for you at this time. And if you would like support at this time, as I said, everything you do need to know is in the description box down below about the services I offer. And most importantly, at this time, no matter what is going on outside of you, stay focused believe and trust in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that's within you and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow that's if you feel connected to me and you understand me and i'm sending so much love my support my strength and light and i love you so very much see ya